Hey, welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's talk about the Black Stars of Ghana. Yes, the 26 month squad for the upcoming World Cup. It is now officially out. Coach Otuado has named the 26 month squad. And I know you are happy. I know you may not be happy. Don't worry, I think um, that is how it has to go. No one, no one um, can impress everyone in the world with a 26 man squad. If you are happy with it, cool. If you are into, I think for now, we just have to support the team for the upcoming World Cup. In this video, we are going to check out the best 11 that can represent Ghana in two different formations, but the same kind of starting 11. We are going to check it out here on this channel. I did one about six months ago. And the response was really really impressive thank you for watching we got about 98,000 views on that thank you for supporting i love talking about tactics i love talking about system of play and i love talking about formation let's check this one out on this channel before then can you drop us a like please like the video after that you subscribe smash on the subscribe button to join the family put on the bell for any updates on this channel don't forget to also leave your comments in the comment section please you can also drop your starting 11 down there you know these people they have been listening to us i'm talking about the technical team the fa they really follow social media they really follow whatever we do and uh, even if you check the 26 miles squad you can see that yes most of you influence it yes so um it is going to work out let's check this starting 11 here now with the goalkeeping department um i think that is the area that i really sweat before i'm um, finally settling on one goalkeeper for the world cup you know we were going in with jojo walako who is a goalkeeper for charlton athletic unfortunately he got a finger injury and because of that the keeper is ruled out of the world cup so he is not available now um the second goalkeeper who is also ruled out is richard ofori who is also a goalkeeper for orlando pirates he also got an injury um, we understand there is a fluid on his knee and uh, in his knee because of that he is ruled out so these two goalkeepers who who at least they would have been number one and two they are all out so now we settle on Lawrence atizigi and also on um, manaf then talking of danlad ibrahim now with these three goalkeepers i looked at them critically and i think i settled on goalkeeper um, that is Lawrence Atizigi. Atizigi, because this season he has been really um, consistent for his club side, um, St. Gallen. And um, I think because of that, I chose him. Yes, Manaf has, um, you know, about four games this season, three in the league. And um, about two or three months afterwards, before he kept in one goal for his club side, Cass Ipin. So I decided to settle on Lawrence Atizigi. All the goalkeepers, um, I think we cannot really trust them enough because. Manaf, um, we cannot really trust him. The last outing was against Chile. I think that's why he did well, even though he did not face a lot of shots. But with the um, penalty aspect, he did very well. And I think um, I do not give him that much trust because of consistency. I think Atizigi would be better. Manaf, um, Dalad Ibrahim is also a very good goalkeeper from Kumasi and Koroko. But I haven't really seen him in the national team. I mean, the Black Stars of Ghana level um, enough. So I'll go in for Lawrence that is really, this is your time to prove to Ghanaians that you are a very good goalkeeper now let me move on to the three back the three back I think I do not have to waste time on them yes um the left side is going to go for Mohamed Salisu who is a defender for Southampton he has been fantastic he was fantastic in the game against Brazil when he came on in the second half he also played decently against Nicaragua and I think Mohamed Salisu will not get any player to contend with on the left side of the three back now in the middle i'll go in for alexander jiku yes jiku is a defender for strasbeck i think our best player by far in about a year now he has been super at the back for the black stars of ghana and being solid against a lot of oppositions also playing pivotal role in ghana qualifying for the upcoming world cup i think he really deserves it so i'll give it to alexander jiku now on the right side I will still go in for Daniel Amate. So the third back is going to be um, Saliso Jiku Amate. Amate, we know him already. One of the experienced players currently in the Black Stars of Ghana's team. He has played year in and year out for Ghana. And his performance this season for Leicester City has been super since he came back into the starting lineup. So um, that is my third back for you. Now, in the midfield, um, let me talk about you know the right and left backs of which they are going to operate as ringers. Now, this formation is going to be a 4-5-2 formation. Yes, 4-5-2 formation, which is 
I'm going to settle on the left back position or the left winger. I'll give it to Gideon Mensah. Gideon Mensah is a player who plays for AJ Oze in the French League. I think he has been decent for the Black Stars of Ghana on many occasions. Um, even though there is Baba Rahman in there, but um, for this particular occasion, I'm going to trust it into the care of um, that is Gideon Mensah to play on the left side for the Black Stars of Ghana. Now on the right wing, um, yes, if Ghana is going in with four back. I'll go in with Dennis Odori Professor or Ali Duseidu. But if we are playing three back, then the one to support the attack, I'll go in for Tarek Lamte. Yes, Tarek Lamte is very good tackling. He will put pressure on the opposition on, on the on the on the other other team and actually win a lot of balls. He can also go forward, score goals, give assists. We saw him the last time against Arsenal at the Emirates Sports Stadium. He did very well in there, and I'm going to trust it in the care of Tarek Lamte to do that job for me. Now, in my um, two pair in the midfield, I'm going to go in for Thomas Tepate. Thomas Tepate is a super midfielder for Arsenal and I think he has been decent. I do not have to talk a lot about him. He is very good. Now, whom am I partnering party with? I'm going to go in for Abdul Salis Samet. Yes, Salis Abdul Samet is a player for RC Lons this season. He's had a fantastic season and I think that there's no way I'm going to bench him. I'm going to start him because there is no Baba Idris. So Baba Idris is injured and he is going to be back um about seven to ten days after the time making this video so he wasn't naming blasters of ghana's final world cup squad so i'm going to go in with salis up the summit to play he will sit deep for party to actually give those kind of penetrative and incisive passes the defense breaking passes for the black stars of ghana now in front of the two i'm going to go in for daniel kofi Chere. Daniel Kovic is a player who plays for Freiburg. He has been fantastic since he joined the Black Stars of Ghana. He was not getting a lot of starting plays under Coach Eduardo, but we saw him playing against Nicaragua and oh my, oh my, he was one of our best players on the pitch that day. Daniel Kovic, I will let him sit in front of the two, that is Amate and um, that is Pate and Stalis the Summit. I will let Daniel Kovic play in front of them, but there will be an advice for him. He should release the ball quickly um, for the strikers. Now, with my two top, yes, with my two top, uh, I really, really, really suffered before I settled on the two because, uh, well, let me go in for first of all, Kudus Mohamed. Yes, Kudus Mohamed, I'll play him as a striker, but just behind the main striker. So he is not going to be seen as it is seen in this particular shape. He will usually draw back to help. Um, you know, the midfielder sometimes he will also go forward to strike as well. Now, Kudus Mohamed this season has been super for Ayas, no doubt about his statistics scoring in UEFA Champions, is setting records, breaking records in the league as well, assisting and scoring a lot of goals. I think Kudus all his number speaks for him. And whenever he joined the Black Stars of Ghana, too, we all know whatever he does for the national team. So, I'll play Kudus Mohamed as part of my top two now with my main striker i'm going to go in with Inyaki williams yes Inyaki williams is a striker who plays for tesco bilbao this season he has been fantastic if in fact if you check his statistics over the years i think this is one of his best seasons so far comparing the number of matches he has played scoring some good goals also assisting in them i'll go in for Inyaki williams so he's a new striker for the black stars of ghana he played against brazil in the second half you saw what he did against nicaragua he has some decent chances even though he couldn't bear it and many were also criticizing the midfielders for not releasing the boss early for the striker but i think i'm going to settle with Inyaki williams so going in for the 352 formation this is how it is going to look like now with a 3-5-1-1 formation, which is also on your screens, it is also going to be the same kind of players. But this time around, Daniel Kovic is going to draw back a little to help the midfield. So we are going to get a combative midfield. But whenever Ghana has the ball, he will also join attack. And Kudus is in the 5-1-1. The 1-1, one -one, he's going to just sit behind. Um, that is Inyaki Williams. Yes, I have other players that I think um, they can all come in and give us some good performances. That is um, from the captain. That is Andrea. He can also play, you know, in the place of Kofitre. But I think for now, Kofitre's consistency and numbers for the season, I think he actually deserves to be in there. When the coach decides to go for a 3-4-3 formation, I think um, if he starts um, Andrea you I'll be happy with it as well. So, um, I think this is my... Yeah, people can make cases for Osman Bukhari, um, Fatah Sahako, Kamal Adi Suleiman on the left side. I think Kamal 
hasn't gotten that kind of consistency in terms of starting games this season because of his injuries and in the Black Stars of Ghana too, he hasn't really been giving us some top-notch performances. So in the games, in the in this basketball World Cup, I will let him maybe come on as a sub to do some magic for the Black Stars of Ghana. I don't know what you think about it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. These are my starting 11. I'm Atizigi in post, Amate, Jiku, Salisu, Gideon Mensah, Thomas Party, Salis Abdul Summit, Tarik, Lamte, Kufitre, Kudus, Inyaki. Yes, um, these are my 11. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Like the video, subscribe, turn the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later. Subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more.